Now, researchers here have found that a spot deep beneath a volcanic field in Laos could be the impact site of a meteorite that struck the Earth 790,000 years ago. The impact then was so large that debris from the strike was flung over three continents, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. But the location of this site has remained a mystery for many years. So just how was it found? Well, to answer that, we're joined by Professor Kerry C from the Earth Observatory of Singapore. Kerry, thanks for coming in and speaking to us about this. My pleasure. So firstly, what prompted uh, you to sort of begin this search and what led you to Laos? It was totally uh, serendipitous. I'm basically a, a person who studies earthquakes and volcanoes and climate change. And uh, I was on a holiday in Ho Chi Minh City one weekend and uh, came across a jewelry store that had these little black rocks on the black shelf. I'd never heard of tectites before, I'd never heard of these things, but I got intrigued by that and started reading up on it and figuring out why on earth could nobody find this big hole in the ground? It must be, it must be obvious, but it turns out it was buried by a volcano. Okay. And, and, you, and that led you to Laos? Yeah, so uh, it led me all over the place. It led me to Cambodia first and uh, Vietnam and so on, but uh, looking at satellite imagery, we started having some candidates and one of them was in southern Laos. So yeah, what exactly yeah. did you find and, and how mm. did you actually pinpoint the exact mm. area? Because you know, you said after all it's so big but it was mm. covered by a volcano. This is a very ancient area so the surface is not highly eroded over the last million years. So the tectites are sitting all over the ground throughout the area. In fact people collect them and make jewelry out of them. They're beautiful black shiny rocks. And uh, so they couldn't be eroded away. The crater would be too big to be eroded away so we knew it had to be buried. So we thought, where in this area of eastern Thailand, southern Laos, Vietnam, is there something that's big enough and thick enough that it could bury this 800,000 year crater? And almost the only candidate, really the only candidate, is this, this volcano, 100 kilometers by 60 kilometers in dimension. So then we started to say, well, okay, if, if it's really buried, then the volcano has to be younger, right? So we did radiometric dating, sophisticated dating of radiometric, uh, radiogenic uh, elements. And we found out that indeed everything on top of that of the crater's site is in fact younger and there are little pieces that are older out on the edges and those had to be there before the crater hit before the impact hit so we figured the tectites then must have some lava in them mm. and we looked back at the published literature on what the chemistry of the lava of the uh, tectites was and sure enough hidden in plain sight for decades were the signs, the chemical signs of, uh, of lavas in the tectites. So is this volcano active or is it dormant? Uh, both. It's, uh, it's, been dormant for the <laughs> it's been dormant for the historical period, but the latest flow is probably barely prehistoric. So nobody, nobody knows that it's possible to have a big volcanic eruption there, like you would have on Hawaii. They happen so infrequently, probably only every thousand years or so. But uh, when they happen, they're fairly large. So there are small villages, there's towns of 100,000 here and 50,000 there, and uh, um, because the flows happen so seldom, people are totally unaware of the potential. So that's another discovery that came out of this, that uh, this big volcano, which was very poorly known before, we, we now know we have a significant volcanic hazard there. And what do we know then about this meteorite that, that struck Earth so many years ago? What impact would it have had at the time? It hit so fast, it, hit, it came in at about 30 kilometers per second. So say from Sumbawang to, to, or from Woodlands all the way to Sentosa in one second. Mm -hmm. So it hit so fast and it was probably two, three kilometers in diameter. So it was very big. So it hit so fast and with so much velocity and so much energy that it vaporized itself. It melted a large part of the crust, including the lavas. And they went sailing out to Singapore, to the Philippines, to Cambodia, to, all the way to Australia. And uh, so we, we know from those little fragments of melted material a lot about the rock that it hit, and we, but we don't know much about the meteorite itself. It disappeared. What about, um, you know, you mentioned there that it flung over three continents, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Do we mm -hmm. know any more about in the meteorite in these areas? Or the only ones, or so far you've only found Laos? All you, all you, uh, all you see from that one impact crater that's about 15 kilometers in diameter, all you see is the melted crust that was spewn out of the hole in the ground. So all you see is melted Laos all the way down to, all the way down to Antarctica. Wow, that is a phenomenal discovery. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming sure. in and sharing it with us. Professor Kerry C. from the Earth Observatory of Singapore.